You know, if you truly love me, you would listen to my proposal. Now I'm trying to explain to you. Missing the Don't rip that up. I want. I took a picture of it anyway. You. Cook a goddamn vegan food for you! Don't raise it's your voice. So because you don't listen when I speak. I'm just trying to cook for you, do you know? I understand that, but I'm not gonna cook without the proper equipment. <laughs> just because I asked you to peel a few potatoes. Like, what is wrong with that? Just frustrated because, you know, um, I, I just don't think that uh, she was understanding me. Jasmine doesn't listen to me a lot of times when I try to speak to her. Like it goes in one ear and out the other kind of thing. I don't want to upset her, but Jasmine needs to understand that she can't walk all over me, and I am gonna, I'm gonna stand up for myself. I mean, it hurts me that he treats me bad, but at the same time, it hurts me that he is hurt because I don't know how his freaking mind works and maybe he's suffering. And I feel bad that he got angry. <laughs> like I really tried to take care of everything and I thought that this was gonna be funny though. We were gonna enjoy it. We were gonna be at this moment happily eating our food. <laughs> I just want to make him happy, but I can't. <laughs> Why are you crying like that? Because you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I didn't say I was mad at you. I just like to have the proper equipment, you know, to cook. Like, sometimes in my house we didn't have things and we figured out how to solve it. That's the way I am. My mind works differently. I'm not saying that it is not important. But for me, it's not a big deal. But now I know that for you, it is. And I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. So you want to order food? Not really. I mean, I traveled today. So I think I'm going to go to sleep. OK, my angel. Let me put you to bed, OK? OK. change my head, I think. Your sleeping head? Yeah. I know Jasmine, you know, loves me um, very much, and I do love her very much. But today didn't go like I hoped. So I'm looking forward to a good sleep because I haven't had really any time to relax or anything. So um, that could be part of it. Do you want me to lay with you, or do you want me to go out and wait until you're sleeping? Yeah. So Just I let me sleep. Okay. Okay. You know, it's so hard to predict. I don't know how tomorrow he's gonna feel, but we cannot be wasting our time like this. I really wanted to collect good memories and have a better outlook of how our life living together as a married couple is gonna look like in the United States. And if it's just like an appetizer, I'm a little bit scared. There is something I kind of want to talk to you today about that's kind of important, so. Which is? Something that I've been thinking about recently and um, I want to bring it up to you now. The idea of a prenup came up in the past, and she was not happy, happy camper. Jasmine shut it down pretty quickly, and I didn't want to fight with her at the time. But it's different now. Like, we have a lot of issues going on, yet our visa could be approved anytime soon. So, I mean, I, I feel like I have to do it. So, you know, I've been working since I graduated college in 1993. And I've been working hard my whole life, getting up every day, going to work. Um, I got that part, so? 
No, I'm just, I'm just trying to explain to you then what's going on with my investments that I say. Are temporary. you going to lose your money? No, 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 no. So, okay, what I'm trying to say is um, I wanted to talk to you about how you feel, um, you know, about signing a prenup. Now, now, here's the deal with that. Let me, let me explain. I, I'm super in love with you. You're super in love with me. We're both very in love, okay? Uh, what am I saying? Uh, um, I, f I forgot where I was, but... Um, like, it hurts me, like, you thinking I'm marrying you, like, to, to divorce, first of all? No, I, I was, I'm, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I think we'll be together forever. I think we're going to last forever. I know we are both in love, and we're going to so last So why do forever. you need a prenup? Because in case something happens do outside of our... Do you listen how stupid you sound right now? You know what? This, if you want to hear me, like, from the bottom of my heart, like, you a hundred times, you. It's very disrespectful. It, it seems like this is kind of like a lot of our arguments, how they go. Like, you always get upset, and then that's it. That's your position? My position is, I'm just taking it out, and we are not longer engaged. I'm so numb right now. Gina and I have talked about the prenup before, but it hurts the same, like, three times more. Because after two years, you're expecting someone to know who you are, and he doesn't know me. According to him, I'm gonna take everything from him, and he's gonna lose his money. That's the perception he has on me. She's always told me, you know, we're gonna be forever, Gina. You know, I would rather have you dead than to be with another person, she'd tell me. So for her to come out suddenly and say, oh no, forget all of that, what we talked about, uh, by the way, we're gonna break up today because you're saying that you wanna protect your assets. I'll open the door. I can do it by myself. Close the door. It makes me wonder, you know, what she's in this for. You know, it kinda makes me question it. After our discussion about prenup yesterday, Jasmine hasn't spoken to me, so I really don't know where we're at. On the one hand, I want the prenup, but I don't want our relationship to end because of this. So this morning I actually woke up and I like wrote down a proposal that, you know, with Jasmine's best interests, you know, in mind, like I want to like protect her. Um, I, all I want her to do is listen to me. Um, how are you doing? I'm sad, I'm disappointed. I'm mad at you. We've been engaged for more than a year. And now you're showing me like, like you don't trust in me that you need conditions. And you- No, I do trust you. And then show it with actions. Like, why are you asking for it? Do you know talking about a prenup is like the same nightmare I went through with my divorce. My ex-husband hit all the money, so I have to walk away with nothing, just my, my clothing. And now it's like a different character, but the same story. No, but I have, I have a proposal for you today. What is the proposal about? If you're done telling me what your, your thoughts yeah, are, I'll tell you but what I... I just want to warn you, like, be careful with what you said. Because if there is a prenup, there is no marriage. There is no engagement. There is nothing. Let me speak no, first. No, but you have to be clear because you're going to be just wasting your time no, explaining no, no, no. to me. No, it's If not there a is a prenup, I'm not going to marry you. No, no. I'm not going to listen to Okay, well, then I'm... that shows me that you don't love well, me. You don't give it. Okay, so then. All of it. Then. Forget it. Then. Stay with your money <gasps> she's always screaming and yelling and can't have a normal conversation and there's i can't talk to her and that's a problem are you talking about me pack up your things get out of here get out of here jimmy
You know, if you truly love me, you would listen to my proposal. You didn't even give me. Okay, what is a proposal? So, and I even write protection for Jasmine. That's the high. That's the headline. If I was the person that initiates a divorce, now I'm trying to explain to you. Missing. So, this means that if I initiate divorce, I'm gonna get the very small amount. That means yeah, that I'm stuck do. with you. If cheat on me, I have to accept it. I no, cannot no, no, get che- divorced. No, 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 no. It says except for cheating. I don't want this. I don't want this. Don't I rip that this. up. I want this. You know what? I took a picture of it anyway. It's, it's... So I would really appreciate if you just take your things and get out of my house. Really? Like all my demons come out because of you. You, ha- you cannot have to even see communicate. The kind of relationship that I have with my exes. Yell, yell, yell. I get along even with my exes better than I do with you. They are better people. You just yell, 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 don't you? It's all you know how to Even do. like I feel more attracted to my ex even than to you. Yeah. And well, he's better looking than oh, you. And he yeah, has even right. more money than you. Yeah, and he's right. young and he doesn't have sex oh, problems yeah, like you exactly. do. Exactly. You couldn't. You're the worst sexual person in the world. Oh, you, you should just go and ask my ex-boyfriend if I'm the worst I don't have sexual to ask person. Her. So what, go why aren't you still him. with your ex? Go and why, ask him. Why aren't you still with your ex? Tell me that. <laughs> I won't even answer that. All I want is love and to be loved and respected. And I'm not getting any of these things from Gino bringing up the prenup stuff. Like, I have kept up with all his his lies, communicating with exes. Like, no woman has loved him like the way I do love him. But Gino is looking at me like a gold digger. So that's very painful. So can you tell me what's going on? Jasmine and I have been together for about two years now, and I fully trusted Jasmine. I've never had any reason not to trust Jasmine. Now I'm finding out that she's still friends with her ex-boyfriend and didn't tell me about it. That's up. Do you have anything going on with him right now? No, he's just my friend. You always told me that I can't be friends with my ex. You fly off the rocker, even at the sound, uh, mention of my ex's name. Dan never share nude pictures of me with anyone, like your ex. So don't compare Dan. He's a gentleman, he's respectful, he's very aware we are engaged. We are not interested in having anything. You, you understand that? Yes, I lied to you, you know. And he still doesn't know that Dan lives in the same apartment building, but Lying to him hasn't helped our relationship at all. So I do believe that it is time for telling him the truth. Okay, so how often do you guys talk? At least once a week. Are you serious? Are you meeting up with him and stuff in person? We, we meet sometimes to, to shout, to talk, just to do friend stuff. That, that's friend it. Friend stuff. So were you alone with him? Recently? I, like, yes. We've been mean, up, yes. Because he's living in the same building as I am, and I just had coffee with him a few days before you come. What? Um, you gotta be kidding me. Out of all the buildings in the freaking Panama, you gotta pick the one that your ex is in. Yeah, he's my friend. Are you freaking kidding me? I feel angry and betrayed because I would have never paid for this apartment for Jasmine to stay in if I knew that her ex is living in the same building. And the fact that Jasmine is pretending like this is no big deal, it makes her look very suspicious. I don't want to leave him because of money, but Gino doesn't love me, doesn't appreciate me. Like, I don't know what to do. (sighs) I'm tired. 
tired, Dean. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm like, I don't see that you want to be with me. I don't see that you want to help me to make this process easier. Like, I am so scared of going to USA. Like, I am not going to have family. I'm just going to have you. And you, every time that I ask you for financial help, this is your reaction. That is bull****. How about for the last two and a half years supporting you with money? And when are you going <coughs> to give me credit for that? <coughs> Tell me when. You do not appreciate all, all the help I've given you. But why you never and acknowledge what I have done, what I'm doing, what I, all different I'm putting no, just I know moving to isn't be fun. with you? No, I'm then moving to USA, too. Like, that gives me anxiety. <laughs> this is the country where I was born in. And I'm, I'm happy here, and I have to say goodbye to everything. Like, you don't understand that. And then you have this attitude with me, and you are like the only person I'm going to have there. What if you treat me so badly there? I'm not going to treat you bad there. How That's do I ridiculous. know that if you treat me badly here? I do not treat you bad here. I was giving you a massage, and you started yelling at me. Oh, God. I just want to feel love, you know. Don't you understand when I'm... Sometimes when I do these things, and when I need you to love me the most... <laughs> I'm trying to give you all the love I possibly can, but I'm not paying $3,000 a month for a place. I want to look at other options at the cost of two other places and what they cost. Because you are not the one being affected. No, no. That is just the way it goes. This is, this is what we have to do. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. I'm busting my ass supporting Jasmine financially every month. And this is the thanks I get from her. It's not just a money thing. We have had so ma many problems, you know, and you did so grown to me. And I forgive you because you're always my priority. But it, when it comes to me, everything else comes before me. Your money, your family. That's what hurts because I should be the most important person in Gino's life more important than his family or anyone? Well, I would say it's a tie for my family and Jasmine. Are you serious? She's tied with my family. No, I don't want to be tied with anyone. What am I doing with you if I'm not the most important person in your life? Yeah, after marriage, you would Marriage! OK, whatever. Marriage! Can you say it a little louder? I can't hear you. Piece of Right, that's you. Idiot, how are you gonna compare me to your family? What the heck you don't is think wrong? my family's important? You got any brains anymore. in your head? I'm not feminine anymore. You're a idiot. Yes, you're a idiot. You. You. Family's trash. You're trash. Your family is trash. trash. You're a piece of I'm you. I'm gonna here. go and my ex. Right there. How to me. He's the yeah, best yourself. man that I have ever had, and I'm going back to him. Yeah, go back. He is the most important person. Go back person to him, because I don't need he you. He is the most important person yeah. in go my So, go to Okay. Yeah. You know what? You want me? You want to see a video of me with Dan? Yeah. Oh, you want to see that? Go ahead. I'll... That is. Go ahead, I'll show you something. From some. one month I'll show ago, you something. Yeah. Good. Good. I That's real. Oh, is that true? Then swear to God that it good. is true. Good. Good. Psycho. Video. I don't want to see you. Know, I don't even want to be breathing the same oxygen. Like. This is it. This is it. You know, you know, like... I don't know what to do. I, I want to make this work, but I don't know how. Because I love you, you know? I know that I'm not perfect, you know? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I have so much pain. I get angry, so angry, and I, like, like I block my mind and I cannot think properly, baby. I don't want you to stop loving me. I need your love, baby. I cannot live without you. I'm so broken. <laughs> We have had our very bad moments and arguments. I feel like I ruined it, you know, because I keep bringing some, like a big baggage that I have. So I thought to myself, like, the best that could happen to Gino was just to take a plane and forget about my existence in Panama and, and everything that we ever had. But you really know how much you love a person when you imagine your life without that person? Like when he walk away, like literally I get sick, physically sick. I, I feel like I cannot be without him. You're mad at me. And I'm sorry, baby. No, I'm not like, mad at you. Your, if your family is important, I get it. Yeah, they are. You me. know, if I have to earn that place and be the most important person in your life, I'm gonna earn it because I wanna be your wife. I don't wanna lose you. Well, I mean, I don't want you to be angry and blowing up at me, and I wanna, I don't know, how, it's not easy to handle that for me. We've known each other for two and a half years now, and it's like something that we can't overcome. It breaks my heart to see Jasmine crying. Um, you know, I, I want to save our relationship. I really do. I love her. But after our talk in the park, she didn't seem very willing to try to work things out. I need to give you something. OK. So just a minute. At this point, I'm not really feeling like anything's going to change. I just, I'm confused. Could you please stand up? Ever since I met you, I crave your smell, your hugs, your kisses. And I know, baby, that I'm so messed up. And I'm so crazy sometimes. But I promise that I'm going to change. And this that I'm going to show you, the engagement ring that you give me I'm sorry for being a bitch and wanting you to upgrade this ring. But you know what? Like, in my eyes, and for me, this ring is priceless, and not even all the money in the world can buy it. Because this is from the love of my life. So, you know, Will you take me, like, as your fiancé back again? Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs>